Welcome to Wilson's Fine Woodworking. The name's Bill Wilson. Uh, I'm a former teacher, over 30 years, and I've done a lot of seminars on wood movement, which is our topic today. Uh, I hear people say, I have some lumber, and I just made a really nice tabletop, and it's been dried for years. I'll put this together, and I'll never have to worry about wood, wood movement. Wrong. Wood never stops moving. It dries out in the wintertime and swells up in the summertime. How much it'll do that depends upon the piece of lumber and how much moisture is around and how dry it is. But it will always move. Even if it's finished, the finishing will only slow down the process. Decking. It's been my experience that people building decks for the most part, if they're building it out of lumber, as opposed to the composite that's available nowadays, usually get the boards on the top of the deck put down incorrectly. And I have asked them, oh, this is the way I was shown. There's, it's flat sawn lumber, there are the growth rings, so the water will run off. Incorrect. If you take any piece of lumber, particularly rough sawn lumber, and look at it, those growth rings, as it dries, try to straighten out. And the lumber moves like that. So, have a look. There is a piece that's tried to straighten out. And you can see it's dipped like this on the top. So if it were put down like that on your deck, it would hold water here, even if it was only that wide. All right, here we have two types of lumber grain on the end grain. There is a third, but first of all these. This is the most common, the tangential or flat sawn. You can see the growth rings are going like that. And we also have this, quarter sawn or radial. The grain lines on the end are going like this. This one moves a lot more in width, summer to winter, than this one does. The radial you'll see it's in between. It kind of looks like that, the end of that. And it's all the way across the board. It's kind of in between. So roughly on like a 45 degree, the growth rings. All the way across. So they're halfway between the two. It's not very common. You usually buy this. If you have to buy this, go to buy quarter sawn, it costs a lot more money. Calculating how much lumber will move is possible to a some degree of accuracy. I have already done some calculations here. You can see this one. There is a piece of quarter sawn. There is a piece of flat sawn. This flat sawn if is pine calculated in one foot of lumber will move approximately 1060 fourths from season to season. This one will move only, in the quarter sound, will only move 364. So you can see there is a fair difference. I've also written on here the same thing for red oak. Red oak a foot wide in flat sawn will move approximately 1764. If it is quarter sawn, we'll move only about 764. Ash, similarly, okay, flat sawn, we'll move about 316. Ash and a foot wide will move 216. So there is a real comparison. How do you find out? How do you calculate this? How I do it, I rely on something from Lee Valley Tools. It comes as a kit. There's a booklet to go with it to show you how to calculate it. Even gives examples, so it's really easy. And then there is a dial chart here for all the species of lumber that are available. According to the kinds you can see here, there's quarter sawn and there's flat sawn. And there are little numbers that appear in the windows, and you use those to do your calculations according to the width of lumber that you have. And that makes it 
much safer for putting lumber together so you don't have problems. I received a wagon, a horse-drawn wagon, a brand new one, made of ash, made by a farmer who knew nothing about wood movement. It was about six feet wide, six and a half feet wide actually, had sides on it like this, and the tailgate was inside. All the boards on the bottom were flat sawn and had been all screwed down. What happened was the boards, when they were installed, were a little damp. They shrank. And so what happened was the tailgate, because it was on the inside, pushed the wall of the tray out. The tailgate needed to be put on the outside. If you are screwing a board that's about that wide together, screwing it or fastening it, do not nail there and there or screw there and there. Do it here because it will move too much and will split right down the center from season to season. If it's wider, even more so. It'll, there's a tendency to split even more, so you have to be very careful. You must take other means to hold it down. Thanks for watching. Wilson's Fine Woodworking. Hope to see you next time.